Hi everybody, so uh, my name is Robert Coop and I'm here to talk today about uh, data versioning. And I've actually got two talks and they were scheduled back to back. So you're gonna learn a little bit more than you might have otherwise. We're gonna start with uh, talking about our versioning system called Cart, and we're gonna talk about how you can use it from QGIS in five minutes. So what is Cart? Cart is version control for geospatial data. So Software developers have version control, why don't data people? And this is what we're trying to solve with carts. And so this is keeping track of who changed what and when, maybe even why, and allowing us to collaborate better within our teams as well as across organizations. And as well as that, cart works within QGIS. We have a plugin, and that's what I'm gonna uh, quickly demonstrate today in five minutes. So you can install the cart plugin from the uh, QGIS plugin engine, and you can search for cart and find it, and it will help you install cart for your uh, system as well. So cart works on Linux and Windows and Mac, um, out of the box, just like QGIS. And so now what we're gonna do is play a video, and I'm gonna talk along, and hopefully it's all gonna work right. Let's see. So in here, we are going to stop playing. Let's go. Yeah, so we're gonna go to our plugin, and oh, we're actually gonna install it. So we've ticked cart, it's great, it's already there. Cool, and when we open our cart, um, our cart plugin has a panel for the repositories. So these are kind of your projects or collections of data. And in this case, we're gonna create a new repository, and we're gonna use a geo package as our working copy. And so that means like, from QGIS's point of view, it's just a geo package, it just works. Underneath it has some versioning special source. And in this case, we're gonna add some data to our repository. Uh, today we have some shapefiles, but it also works from lots of other data sources. So we're gonna bring in these shapefiles into our repositories, as uh, new data sets or new layers. And uh, CART supports uh, like vector data sets, it supports tables, uh, rasters, and point clouds as well. So in this case, we have some data from the Chatham Islands, which is uh, off the east coast of New Zealand. And we have uh, some buildings, some roads, and some, uh, and that, the island outline. Uh, QGIS always chooses the wrong colors for things, so uh, just making some changes there. And we can uh, view the log from the, I might just pause this just for a second. We can view the log from uh, the data sets panel. Um, and that shows us uh, the history of the data set. So as we imported each one of those uh, layers, we got, we got a single commit. Um, and that's saved going forward. Now we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna make some edits to our data. And then we're gonna save them and look at it again. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna change the roads. It's maybe a little bit hard to see with yellow and pink on the wall, but such is life. Um, and even doing this on a video recording, uh, my brain doesn't work with QGIS's like editing tools. But we're gonna make some changes to our road, and you can imagine these are any data changes. So uh, we can edit attributes, we can edit geometries, and then we can uh, save them. And so what we're gonna do now is go to our little cart menu that's in here, and we're gonna view what we've changed so far. And so we haven't changed any attributes, but we've changed the geometry of the road. And we have a few different ways to like compare our geometries. We can uh, change the base map slightly. We can use transparency, so you can see the new versus old, or we can use swiping and other things that might help you compare what's been changed. And not only what we've just changed now, but what we've changed in the past as well. And when we're happy, we're gonna um, commit these changes into our history, and so this is like saving them permanently. And so we can add a message to say why we made these change, changes. If you're a software developer, this is all kind of regular stuff. And we can push and pull our changes to um, far away places. And so this might be our, our team, and we can share data with them. And every single uh, person can have make their own changes kind of in parallel, and Cart helps you kind of merge them and bring them together. 